What time is it? On the moon, Apple wants to build a robot that follows you around in your house. And, well, we got some details on Zen 5, the next generation AMD stuff. It's faster. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your bright host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, April 5th, 2024, or is it? I don't know what day it is on the moon. Neither does the US government. So they've tasked NASA with figuring out getting a time zone for the moon. What day is it? What time is it? We need an LTC or coordinated lunar time. Huh? It's coordinated lunar time. Like the yellow stuff that grows in fields? Corn? Coordinated lunar time. Did you say coordinated? I don't know what you're this is why you're not allowed on hot news anymore. They're gonna shorten it to LTC and they wanna have this by 2026. Part of this is with the renewed efforts to get US astronauts to the moon. And with somebody from the White House saying, as NASA, private companies and space agencies around the world launch missions to the moon, Mars and beyond, it's important that we establish celestial time standards for safety and accuracy. And that a consistent definition of time among operators in space is critical to successful space situational awareness capability abilities, navigation, and communications, all of which are foundational to enable interoperability across the US governments and with international partners. And one of the reasons that this is kind of necessary is because the moon has different time, especially because everything's relative, including time itself. The moon is like 58 microseconds ahead of the earth every day. It changes, the, the, the time is different. And NASA said the same clock that we have on earth would move at a different rate on the moon, saying think of the atomic clocks at the US Naval Observatory in Washington. They're the heartbeat of the nation, synchronizing everything. You're going to want a heartbeat on the moon. I disagree. I played Final Fantasy VIII. I, the lunar cry in this, in this freaking game, it's just full of monsters. The heartbeat on the moon is monsters that spew out onto the earth and then attack everything. And then you got to fly around in the Ragnarok ship and try to kill all of them. And then Ultima's going to come back. But maybe she's actually Renoa from earlier in the game, who's your, the love of your wife as, as your squall. And it's a whole, oh man, look at all those monsters from, from Final Fantasy VIII. That's the heartbeat of the moon. You know what? That's real time rendered cutscene right there. That's a big deal. I don't want a heartbeat on the moon, but I'll take a lunar coordinated time. That'd be great. What's also great, it's today's video sponsor. We're all PC people here. That's why you're watching. And you know who else are PC people? Today's video sponsor, Newegg. Newegg makes it easy to get the very best in PC parts. With their new at Newegg section, you can easily find the newest and hottest tech that Newegg has to offer, like the MSI Claw or the 14900KS. If PC parts and building isn't your thing, then you're in luck, because Newegg has two great solutions for you, the Laptop Finder and the PC Builder. The Laptop Finder makes it easy to narrow the selection down to exactly what you need. Simply select your use case, set your price, and select the features you want. Then Newegg sorts through their library and shows you products that fit your exact specifications. And for the PC builder, it's just as easy. You simply select which component type you want to choose, select that specific component, then rinse and repeat that process until you have a full PC worth of parts. They even have AI available to review components and make suggestions for parts based on your needs. No matter the PC goodies you're looking for, Newegg's got you covered. You can check out all the cool features I mentioned via the link in the video description. Big thanks to Newegg for sponsoring today's video. Well, we talked earlier this week about a potential April Fool's joke that I thought was real, hopefully, and that was Aura showing off their extreme ice components, whether that was the GPU they showed off in the RTX 4080 Super or otherwise. And now they've come out and confirmed that it was not an April Fool's joke and they got it. It's even prettier. They got a Z790 Extreme X ice motherboard that looks real gorgeous and has a gold plated CPU socket. Look at this bad boy. Ayo. Ayo. And it's got, it's got like a screen right there. Look it's, at that sideways power connector. It's got mulch. It does have mulch. That is correct. Crystallized titanium texture. Mulch, my favorite. Limited edition exclusive gold cereal plaque, iridescent craftsmanship, mint aesthetics. It's a beautiful looking board. I absolutely want one. That, oh man, that's got me hot and bothered. Look at that M.2 cooler as well. That's huge. I'd put this in my system. Also with that RTX 4080 Super, all of this looks gorgeous. I want it. I want the mulch system put together. And Apple wants to move on from their Apple car. We've already talked about how they decided they can't make their own car. So instead they're working on a robot that follows you around your house. It's their new Skunk Works project. Super secret, nobody's supposed to talk about it personally. Yeah. 
Super secret, nobody's supposed to talk about it, but they're working on a mobile robot that can follow users around their home, and that it's an advanced tabletop home device that uses robotics to move a display around. It's gonna like copy your facial movements and do a lot of weird things, and it's gonna work on it as a, like a FaceTime session, like you're talking to a person almost. All of this really just sounds like Jibo, but on wheels or something. I'm not 100% sure. There, there's some like snarkier articles out there being like it's less likely to happen than an Apple car, but what based on what I'm reading, from everything it doesn't seem that outlandish and it seems very close to what other companies already have out on the market but it's just going to be powered by siri which is admittedly an incompetent personal assistant so we'll have to wait and see if this ever sees the light of day or if this is like another one of those things where they're just developing in the background taking all of that tech and putting it into different devices like i think one of the reasons why the apple vision pro's headband is so nice is probably because they were working on materials designs for the apple car and they ended up with something that worked for your head but it turns out msi I can't get their motherboards working very well. Some of them. That that was like way overblown for how big of an issue this is. There's some Z790 PCH cracking that's happening on certain motherboards. The PCH, in case you're not familiar, is under a little heat sink at the bottom right of your motherboard. It turns out that some of the, these boards are dead on arrival because these PCHs are cracked. MSI responding to this, saying that the MAG Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi has a minority of units that have a non-functional PCH and that they will replace them, which is basically what you want to see in a situation like this. And I want to see Reese give you the deals, but hopefully not mispronounce the amount of money that something is, because he said that an OLED monitor was $89, and he meant to say $899, but he's also working in South African money, and that it's... It's confusing. Yo, welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Happy Friday, guys. Hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. And hey, deals. Starting off today, we have this Fifine low profile microphone boom arm available in black or white for only $42.39, making it $17.60 off and a great alternative to this Elgato boom arm. But then next up, we have this NZXT H7 Elite Edition ATX mid tower case available also in black or white for only $99.99 with the included promo code, making it $80 off. But then lastly, we have this gorgeous Acer Nitro 27 inch 1440p 240 hertz gaming monitor for only $249.99, making it $150 off. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hotness. Cheers. Well, Reese, I got a deal for you, okay? You wanna use less RAM when it comes to your web browser? Good. You have to switch to Edge, switch to Microsoft Edge because they're gonna give user controlled RAM limits for you to be able to establish how much RAM you want your web browser taking up. This is primarily designed for gamers and is built off the back of their memory limits for idle tabs that they already have. But instead now you can control how much is being used, especially if you're gaming or not, you can boost it back up when you're ready to do your work again. And then you could turn it back off while you're trying to play your video games, making sure that your web browser or doesn't take all of that juice. Hopefully, with this sees its way into every other web browser so that nobody has to continue to switch to Edge because it's just a meme. I have nothing personally against Edge. I can't bring myself to do it, I guess. My is, homies hate Edge. Is this, is this what it's like getting old? You just don't do things out of principle? Yeah, it's like why I won't call Twitter X. That feels right. That feels good. What also feels good is getting faster CPUs and we're getting details coming out on whether or not AMD is going to give us Zen 5 soon and it looks like it is going to be soon because motherboards are starting to get the BIOS update for these Zen 5 CPUs. Granite Ridge popping up in some Asus beta BIOSes being supported on things like the X670E motherboards, which is good news for everybody who's looking to get it. AMD themselves have said that the CPU should be coming out in the second half of 2024, which likely could mean that they're going to get announced at Computex because AMD does have a keynote there, I think on June 4th. And so that's still the first half, but if they announce it in June, releasing in July or August, probably won't be uh, too far off from the timeline. But there are some details coming out on how performant Zen 5 might be with a well-known leaker, Kepler L2, saying in the Anantech forums that Zen 5 should be over 40% faster than Zen 4 in spec, which it's kind of unclear how this is gonna translate to gaming performance in terms of what you're going to get, but this is something that AMD aimed for when it came to Zen 1. They wanted it to be 40% better than what they had previously 
obviously they hit 52%. So them getting 40% into single generation could be a pretty big deal. Likely not a total 40% single core IPC uplift where you're gonna get 40% better FPS in every single game you play because your Ryzen 5 9600X can actually run like the fastest chip ever on earth. But it likely bodes well for AMD having something good, uh, especially when Intel's best Thing they've released recently is the 14900KS. AMD still looks like they're gonna be at the top of the CPU game for the rest of the year, at least according to releases, because Arrow Lake will have to wait and see when or if that's getting announced anytime near what AMD's got going on. But what you guys got going on is a lot of tippy tapping in the comment response. So let me look at those. Octagonal Square saying, hope the independent country of Taiwan recovers from the earthquake soon. I agree. Then Atlas saying, my grandpa still pays over $60 for DLSL internet. It's less than one megabit per second. I remember those days in 2015, 2016, when I was first in South Africa, our, the only internet option that we had at the place we were staying at was ADSL. So it was like on, on a good day, if it wasn't raining, uh, like three meg down and like, a quarter meg up, like measured in kilobits. Uh, and on a bad day, it was just almost unusable. So I had a supplemental LTE router that like also struggled a lot during peak load times. It was not, it was not a pleasant situation, but building this YouTube channel on that was a big frustration. So when we finally moved and got fiber, that was, that was a glorious day. Then Ricky saying the cart scanning thing could work. I've seen similar checkouts in Japan where you just place the basket in an area and everything and it is auto scan, which follows similar logic. Yeah, I think the cart scanning thing for Amazon's fresh stuff makes a lot of sense. The first time I actually saw this tech was at like a Circle K in Arizona. Do you remember those on the cannonball? Yeah. We just dropped by a Circle K and it just had a little area that you put everything down and it scans it probably using cameras and AI logic. Maybe potentially it was just Kyler actually coming by with a, a scan gun when I wasn't looking and scanning all the items because you stole my money. Huh? Oh, okay. Well, you know who said this? NF276. This comment got 20 upvotes. Balls. <laughs> uh, and then we had one, two, three, four, five people, six people respond in kind with the phrase balls. I don't know what that means. You should probably clarify. Then Arturo Espinosa Aldama saying, this has hard LTT vibes, float plane and everything. Am I wrong? What, me or the channel or what are you talking about? And hard LTT vibes? Like we're the alcoholic version? Is that is that track? Hard. Hard, hard LTT. That's, oh boy. Well, Kenneth the GD saying, hmm, time for news and a nice cup of rare brew coffee. That's, that's what, that, that's what we have. Also, we're finally back in stock. All of the, all of the coffee finally got delivered today so that I can fulfill all of the orders that were outstanding. Uh, the save UFD tech coupon code is expired at this point, but in case you want to save 10%, you could use the code UFD10 and that'll save you 10% in a cup of rare brew in case you want it. Not a cup, uh, on a bag. We, we sell bags. We're also thinking potentially about selling the mug. We haven't come to terms with whether or not we're gonna do that just yet, but uh, let us know what you think of that down below in the comments. And I'll let you know about the tech news on Monday, cause that's when I'm supposed to be back. Kyler's gonna go buy a car. Ooh, I'm an adult.